Okie dokie. Well, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, well, um, like usual, I'm working on my Final Fantasy XIV blog post. And um, in order to save me some time, in order to save me a whole ton of typing, um, I'm just at a point where I want to talk about this new build that uh, DJ Screw uh, recommended me. Just uh, been playing it for uh, most, of the, most of today's session. And on top of that, too, is, uh, I'm starting to get... I'm getting pretty groggy right now, so most certainly I'm gonna have to go in. I'm gonna have to lay down for a nap here fairly soon. So yeah, but um, otherwise, like usual, I'm gonna have some music going in the background. Um, this time around, it's gonna be a uh, Magdar's Softy album. So let me go ahead and get that fired up. Kind of sound checking right now. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and say close enough on it. So, but um. Okay, so I'm I'm calling it the calling it the roided out team. Um, it's a team full of uh, big old bulls. So, actually, let me uh. There, there was a certain way I was wanting to do this. Yeah, I'll just go ahead and go here. So, the class is Shaman. You know, all Tauros came to life. You get a magic for green. Not gonna matter much. All Tauros allies start with 50% mana. And I believe, dude, the way this game works is, uh, as far as, uh, as far as, uh, mana start bonuses, you can only have one type of buff, or you only, can only have one source, and uh, the game will just go with the best one. So because of that, I'm not gonna need a medal of a new in there. So I guess because I'm gonna be doing PvP, where there's gonna be lots of debuffs going around. I'm gonna go ahead and pick this one instead. Every uh, every turn, there's a 10% chance that uh, it's gonna cleanse your whole your whole team. Because, like I said, um, do it in my class once again. They all start with 50% mana. So. And then, from what uh, if I understood the uh, DJ screw correctly. This is a team that's uh, primarily meant for PvP. Less so on PvE. So... Okay, so... I've had a few other teams that are like this. Um... They're actually pretty tanky. Skull damage reduction, and um, it uh increases uh all stats by four. Whenever you match four or more gems, and I have two of them, so that means uh they're all going to be increased by eight. And then, I probably should have stuck around in the uh, previous screen. Okay, I actually can. Go back to class. You're also a you're also a Tauron as well. So the reason I brought that up. Oh, and uh, their attack or their ability deals damage to an enemy and a random enemy, boosted by your life, attack, and armor. Which is why you really want to go clucking for those uh, four and five matches. It'll increase everybody's stats by eight. And then deals double damage against red enemies. Then Rage Reaver deals a uh, splash damage to an enemy. Uh, damages the chosen enemy, and then half, and then a uh, half damage to the, the one above and the one below him. Yeah, it says in the upper right here. And then create four red gems, 
boosted by Torn Ally, so. Uh, 16, if my math is correct. So, yeah. A little bit of attack, a little bit more attack when you take damage, and another big one here. Everybody gets, um, if my uh, math is right, everybody gets, um, it's going to be eight life out of four or five jet match. So, and then capture us the bull. Uh, another big heavy hitter right here. Gains, um, a bit of attack, armor, and life when you match red gems. And then more splash damage. Boosted by your attack, life, and armor. So, and all that up. Oh, well, let's go ahead and do a battle. And then you want to you want to prioritize brown, brown and blue matches, and four matches. Again, their all their stats are going to increase a little bit when you do this. Like I said, all their stats increased by 8, and their, um, their life increased by 10. Probably not gonna see it on this team, but um, splash damage—it's not without its drawbacks. So let's target that one. Oh, and I forgot to show it too. Note the boost ratio on the right. That's the result of all their uh, the attack, life, and armor. So, 200 and 280 splash damage. So yeah, it's a huge amount. But we'll go ahead and finish that off. Medalists, like always, I stay away from them. And, uh, I actually have a team that's like this. Except, uh, mine? Mine's a Sun Spear, so. Let's get back on the main group. Well, let's try out this one. And again, you wanna you wanna prioritize brown and blue matches, which it looks like I ain't got. So I guess we'll go for red. But uh, he's up, but I don't want to cast him just yet. Looks like our positions are about to get switched. Okay, here. So, here's a big problem with splash damage. A lot of the enemies I'm fighting are stealthy, which means I can't specifically target them. So, what's going to end up happening? I kind of want to hit... I kind of want to hit Cedric up on top, but he's stealthy, so I got to make do with that. So, um, and 142, 55, so you're talking about 200 splash damage here. So 
Well, there goes two of them. And then once again, um, stealthy enemies, it makes us act really wonky. That's the only guy I can choose. Now, less of an issue because there's only two, there's only two enemies here. confidence in this team at the moment, so I'll go ahead and try this one. But you kind of get the ideas of how this team works, though. So. Gotta scrabble for those uh, blue and brown matches. And more matches. And uh, another drawback... Uh, Actually, actually, hold on, wait, I take, I take that back. I take that back. I gotta. I won't be able to show here in the middle of a match, but Drink fillers gotta go. So. Hey, want another one? All right, so let's go back here. Hopefully, I can remember what I wanted to show you. Something I was wanting to something I was wanting to show, I can't remember what it was. No, it wasn't that. Yeah, here it was. Um normally when you're um, leveling these leveling these classes, Root Trap is actually one of the best talents that you could have. It entangles your uh, the first enemy at the start of the battle, meaning he'll be dealing zero skull damage to you. Um, but apparently, this is one of those uh, rare exceptions where you actually want to you want to grab this because due to the way that uh, Rage Reaver works, and due to the fact that you're going to be chasing after four and five gem matches anyway, you're gonna gain so much life that, um, it's gonna, it's basically gonna be more effective than Root Trap. Now, let me go back, um, okay, I don't, I don't see any here. Let me try Casual. I'm gonna just keep refreshing it. Hopefully, no. Yeah, not having any luck so far. Maybe this. Yep. Um, I could probably see uh, using that root trap, the root trap talent for something like this. And those that have seen my other videos. Fairly popular troop right here, Web Spinner. But uh, due to the way the game works, it's gonna it's gonna web you first. 
and then deal the skull damage afterwards. So it's basically already dealing triple skull damage. Having that life gain on a 4 and 5 gem match, it's, it's, the damage web spinner is going to do is way outpace it. So. so for something like that, something like that, then yeah, probably want to swap out Root Trap for Rolling Aura, but that, uh, that's something I, I do only for this team. I guess, um, I guess we'll go ahead and do, we'll go ahead and fight this one here since, um, he's, uh, he's attacked and defeated my team, my, uh, defense team, which is the same thing, and he's also, um, uh, I guess we've gone back and forth against each other, so, let's go ahead and fight this one. I don't want to cast these guys just yet. They're not dealing that much damage. So. Alright, so Catcher should be up. This is a really wonky battle. Usually it's Rage Reaver, Reaver that's up, but now it's like everybody else is up but Rage Reaver. So. him out of there and then again the top two guys deal double damage against red enemies so quick but otherwise um that's gonna do it um i just want to do this uh do this demo here um but yeah i'll go ahead and get this video uh, uploaded processed and all that other good stuff so and then i'll keep go keep working on my blog and then eventually i'll probably want definitely want to lay down for a nap so but otherwise hey thanks for watching everybody i appreciate that and i'll see you all next time Bye for now.